Hello and welcome to this lesson where I am going to show you how to download Active Presenter from the internet. You can get a free trial version of Active Presenter which is, which is an app which is used to record screen actions as well as narrations you can make over PowerPoint presentation. First, we are going to download the file from the internet. Second, we are going to install Active Presenter on the computer. Then afterwards, we are going to use it to record a presentation. Those are three lessons I'm going to give you today. I will go to my Google Chrome and open it. I will type here the name, download active presenter. Between the word active and presenter, there is no space. Then I'm going to press enter. The first link you see here, download active presenter video editor and e-learning software. You go and click this first link. In this Atomi website, come to this link for the MS Windows download. Ignore the other one, this is for Apple uh, computer. This is the one for MS Windows. So you just click download. Then you wait for it to download. I am going to pause this video and come back when the software has already downloaded. My software has already downloaded. I am going to the downloads folder by clicking this uh, file explorer. Then I will click downloads. Then this is the file you are supposed to double click. When it is asking you to install, you, cl you click yes. Then when you see this window appearing, you just accept the agreement. Then you, you click install and wait for it to install until the end. Once it has installed, you will get a, an a, a shortcut link like this one and you will simply double click the link then the active presenter will open the next thing to do is very simple here you can choose this one record video and in this uh, small window which appears here you will switch off the webcam you can switch it on and off the way you want but you just switch it off because you just want to record the screen actions then ensure this option recording area is full screen is indicated here active and also your mic don't interfere with it you can see this is this is the suitable level with the minimum noise and ensure your mic is on. Now I will go ahead and open my PowerPoint presentation which is here before I click this red button. This is the presentation I want to present and it has four slides. So I'm going to start recording. I will click the record and wait for it to count. Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation about software. I'm going to explain to you what software is and we will also look at examples of software. 
the part of computer that runs on the screen and is, is used to do tasks for the users is what we call software. And we can see here, uh, sof software consists of instructions that do tasks such as uh, they allow you to type on the keyboard, you can calculate numbers, you can draw lines, you can even browse internet, play sound from audio files or show video, showing slides on presentable way. Next slide. Here is a picture of a screen showing the software running on it. And another name for software is program. Another point is computer hardware can do nothing without software. Another slide. We have different types of software and we can divide them into two main categories, operating systems and applications. The operating systems manage the whole of the computer machine, including other softwares, which are smaller. And examples are Windows, Mac OS, Android. All those are operating systems. I will move to the next slide. There are many examples of applications. For example, MS Word, we have Excel, we have Chrome. And thank you very much for listening to this presentation. And I have come to the end of it. And I'm going now to stop recording this presentation so that I can change it into a video. To end this presentation, you use a shortcut on the keyboard, you press control down and the end button, then you will see this message appearing here after pressing control and end at the same time. Now I am back to my uh, active presenter. Down here, I can play back and I listen to what I was recording. When you are satisfied, you will just come and click export. Then you choose here, video, export to video here. Down here, the most important thing is to ensure this format here is MP4. Before you click OK, ensure you change it to mp4 then you choose where you want the video to be saved i'm going to click browse and simply choose this desktop and give it the name learning active presenter then finally click ok then give it time to process this video. Now the video is processing and almost finishing. Maybe just a couple of seconds. Then after finishing, it will ask me, exported successfully, will you like to view the output? Yes, I can say yes here. And on the desktop, now I can play my video here. This is the video file. You can see here it is MP4 video and it has been produced or processed by Active Presenter. I will double click it. For you to see how it is playing now. Hello, and I'm pleased to present to you something good about software. Something which will teach you about what the software would. That is how easy it is to to record a presentation using Active Presenter. See you next time. Bye bye.